Okay, we're back to Let's Play Costume Quest, and we're going to go over here and figure out what's over here. Lucy, what are you doing? Lucy, stop. Fine. Okay, I'm not sure if staring the Statue of Liberty is the best, but she does have something that increases her max HP, and she can restore her health. And now Everett and Lucy are both, well, Lucy's not doing anything, but they should be calling me. Mumble, mumble. Observe, non-human sounds ahead. Monsters. And Dolores, can you make it what they're saying? Let me down before Bon John. Did I make a mistake by offering you a second chance? Um, no. Just hurry up with the candy, okay? I'm gonna go back to the mother room and make sure Meslax is asleep at the wheel. Hypothesis: the monster was using Mara to transfer candy. I think we cleared. I think it's time to clear the tracks. Was that you or something? Ew, that does it. I'm having this once and for all. So now we're fighting Bon John for a third time with two teammates by our side, and he's got two teammates by his side. Bon John is still level 8, and there's these guardsmen and a warlock. I'm gonna hit this warlock. With my increased attack, I do quite a bit. And, um, the splash damage worked at least. And the Statue of Liberty is easy to hit with its time hit. Not hurting really Bon John too much. Yet. Might as well hit the little guy. And I guess I'll finish off the little guy, even though I would defeat him next turn anyway, but I won't defeat him this turn. All the F. Bon John did have his microphone in the cutscene beforehand, but doesn't have it now. Making him a lot easier, but he's not the boss of this world. Guardian Shield could be useful, but not really all that much. I guess I'll use Anthem just to restore everything's be a bit. Because I do some body hit of it. Honest Abe Lincoln and the, the uh, Bald Eagle. And we got Sweet Feet, it looks like. Looks the problem with our rail. We'll go back to the station and tell him the good news. So we're supposed to go and tell Sid the good news by riding the monorail back. Uh, before we do that, we'll check to make sure that is called Sour Feet, not Sweet Feet. Go along here first to collect this candy. I'm not sure if the monorail can collect candy, but I don't want to take any chances of missing out on candy. And you always come here first in the monorail. Oh, well, kids, how'd you do that? Monsters are using it for their candy shenai operation. Ah, <laughs> monsters, that's a good one. Whatever you do, it sure runs smoothly now. Feel free to hop aboard any time. I've got some leftover supplies that need anything for your costume. And we got a rope. So, we got a rope, which is the final piece we need for our ninja costume, but we don't even have the pattern, so we can't wear it. Where could it be? Do we have an extra cinnamon? No, I don't have an extra cinnamon brain. So we can continue, continue along the path. Oh, and now that we have three partners, let's go and join this costume uh, uh, contest. Welcome to the Autumn Hayden Wall Costume Challenge. You're just in time for the group category. What would you like to enter? You can win a new cutting in costume pattern. What do we have to do? Simply be your charming self. And just between you and me, you might want to get a nose up on the competition by talking to the others. I'm able to find the rules. Okay. So we got the extreme costume challenge, and now we got to talk to the judges. The first judge is over here. Oh, I'm Mrs. Bagel. I think wearing the costume of Sweet Barbie off the feet is a little chivalry and honor. That means wear the night costume. It doesn't matter who wears it, just as, one of, as long as one of, your, one of your teammates wears it. Or you, of course. The other two are over here. 
at the other far end of the mall. One of them's here. Hey, what is this that I have to say? I wish I had a picture for Hi, I'm Mrs. Kim. There's no... Discussions are nice, but nothing has any depth so far. Maybe something more educational. AKA, wear the Statue of Liberty suit. Hello, amigos. I'm Mr. Mendoza. All these costumes have been a little old-fashioned. I would love something really more high-tech. Now, that bothered me for a while. I thought it would mean the Spaceman suit. That's high-tech, but no, they want you to wear the robot suit. Which has been around since like the 40s or 50s or something, or even before then. I guess it's high tech based, but after you talk to them, talk to this guy. Make sure they're wearing the right costumes, of course. Are you ready to end the contest? Please and welcome to the next street. They're called the Open Pine Monster Hunters. Wow, it's so impressive. I must invent a clean new word for the yard that's called the Magit Magitastical. Mon Muy bueno. Went to you and Aples for this costume. We're ready to announce the group category winners, and our grand prize goes to Open Pine Monster Hunters. So we got a unicorn costume pattern. Now, is the unicorn costume going to be a rarity or Twilight? Or someone from Gen 3 which sucked, or someone from Gen 2? Or maybe it'd be Firefly or Nedley from Gen 1. The point I'm trying to make here is, yes, I am a brony, and I was a brony when I was five years old watching Gen 2. So if anyone's asking that, I'm a brony, and maybe my next LP will explain that even further. I can take that to any part of the of the top of the second floor of the of the uh, of the mall, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to. Walk around and go shoe crazy. This store is closed. Permanent lag. Okay, so Turbo just clubs her hands, so bruisers. They're level 6, I'm level 5, there's 2 of them and 3 of me. So I'm assuming I have the upper hand, in a way. Now let's just keep on smashing the same one. Not killing it, but doing quite a bit of damage. I'm going to attack this one. Because my damage is... So great and awesome, I think. Okay, you can't kill it. But that's why I have the statue of liberty to finish off that booze. And defending with me sucks right now. Sweet flag and well, experience candy. Sweet fat, creepy treat, and um, sludge, or beside the edible hat. I guess I have a little bit more time. Let's talk to these kids wearing the ninja costume that I need. Sorry, I only experienced much on the ladder on the third floor. Well, we've been slaying monsters all night. We invented it. Oh, really? Then show us your horns. Or oh, what? Bring us, say, three monster horns and we'll let you upstairs. Fire, oh, we're fighting the rain. Jeez. Ninjas are so cool. So now we got a new quest, which is kill three monsters on the third floor to obtain their horns. Um, what should I do before I cut this? That's go to the store. Why not one flop? And who is there? It is a grown up. The whole trick at the mall was my idea. Oh, well, thanks. Too bad it's full of monsters. Well, I guess I'll cut this here. See you next part.